Hey there everyone, welcome to the Two Guys in a Cooler channel and thanks for joining me on part three of salts, cures, and vegetable powders. In part one, we took a look at salts and in part two, we had an opportunity to explore curing salts. And now we're gonna talk about vegetable powders, more specifically, celery juice powders. These products have gained in popularity over the years because of people's demand for looking for more organic ways to cure their meat. Celery is one of those vegetables that has a high naturally occurring amount of nitrates and nitrites. This makes celery a natural contender for something that you could use to organically cure your meat. Celery juice powder is made by juicing celery. A culture is then added to convert the naturally occurring nitrates into nitrites. Then salt is added and then it's dehydrated. And now we have CJP or celery juice powder. Celery juice powder is acting in a very similar way as Instacure number one. What it's doing is it's adding organic nitrites back into the meat and at a certain parts per million of nitrites, it protects the meat against foodborne pathogens. Because celery juice powder is gaining in popularity, more money is being invested into the research behind it. One of the most encouraging bits of information that I've just recently received was that celery juice powder is now standardized. And all this means is that the consumer has a much better idea as to how much nitrite is going into their product based off of the percentage that they use. This is great news. Or is it? Well, let's let's dig a little deeper. As you can see in the cup, this particular powder is hygroscopic, and that just means that it wants to naturally absorb moisture from the air. It doesn't mean the product's bad. It just means that you're going to have to dissolve it in water prior to using it. Okay, so how do you use celery juice powder? Well, celery juice powder is going to be used very similarly to Instacure number one. You're going to be using it on meats that you intend to cure that have a short curing cycle. These are going to be meats that generally require cooking, smoking, or refrigeration. If you plan on making any type of sausage that requires some sort of a cure, you're just going to simply mix the CJP or celery juice powder into some water, dissolve it, add that to your ground meat mixture along with the rest of your spices. If you're going to be using celery juice powder for whole muscles like brisket, for pastrami, for corned beef, even if you're going to be making ham, you're going to have to either tumble the meat in some sort of a brine or actually inject it with a celery juice powder brine that you created. If you notice that point number one had an asterisk next to the meat, and that just means that one of the limitations for celery juice powder is that it's actually not recommended to be used on bacon. And the reason it's not recommended for bacon is primarily because of the naturally occurring nitrates. And although a culture has been added to this particular product to reduce the amount of nitrates and turn them into nitrites, whether or not there are any lingering nitrates still remains to be a mystery. Remember, the conversion of nitrates to nitrites happens much slower. And when you have unconverted nitrates or nitrites and you introduce them to high heat, you run the risk of possibly forming something called nitrosamines, which has been found to be carcinogenic. In part four of this series, we're going to cover nitrosamines a little deeper, so be sure to stick around for that, but let's continue with celery juice powder. Another interesting observation about celery juice powder is the flavor that it imparts onto your finished product. The higher your dosage is, the more of a vegetable flavor you're going to end up putting into whatever product that you're making, and um, it's a bit of an undesirable flavor. Another limitation for celery juice powder is the cure time. This is not a product that you would want to use on things that require long curing times. Celery juice powder is also gaining a lot of controversial attention in the United States because the USDA is allowing manufacturers who use celery juice powder in their product to label their product as nitrite free or no nitrite added. And as we've discussed here, it most certainly contains nitrites. And so the marketing behind the products that contain celery juice powder that are sold at the store, they're slightly misleading. And now you know. So celery juice powder is an interesting product. I like the fact that something like this exists. I like that it's an option. I like the fact that the nitrites within celery juice powder also inhibit and kill foodborne pathogens like botulism. I do think that there's a place in the market for celery juice powder. And if you're completely aware of all of its limitations and you're okay with them, then this may be a great product for you to use. I personally feel that more research needs to be done in order to answer some of those mysterious questions about the lingering nitrates and things of that nature. And there you have it. That's celery juice powder. If you got any questions about this particular product being used as a curing agent, leave them in the comment section below. Or if you just have any thoughts about celery juice powder that you'd like to add, throw them in the comment section below and be sure to stick around for part four where we talk about nitrosamines, 
which is probably the most controversial topic of all when dealing with curing meats. If you like this video or if you got anything out of it, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share. And if you're new to this channel, we'd like to say welcome. Be sure to click that subscribe button and that notification bell so you can be notified of all our future uploads as we upload new content every single week. Thanks a lot for watching and we'll see you in the next video.